Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Winnie BLV, Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro. It's just this ho. Okay, there's an intro. Welcome back to Weight Loss Wednesday, week number five just completed from being on Ozempic. I don't know what next week will be as we still don't have <laughs> any new medication. Um, yep, haven't, haven't heard from the doctor that prescribed uh, the semaglutide or uh, the pharmacy. We did go last week and talk to the pharmacist and they said, oh, we didn't get your call in. We didn't get the doctor's call in, which my doctor said, Oh yeah, we called it in twice. I don't know why they're not getting it. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody's lying. Yeah, disgusting. Um, <laughs> Y'all know, you know. But yeah, somebody, you know, screwed the pooch on it and dropped the ball. So I don't really have new medication for next week. Thankfully, on Monday, I go into my weight loss doctor uh, the sports medicine place that I went to. So I'm hoping that they'll have an answer. But yeah, when we went last week to CVS, um, that pharmacy that waited on us happened to be really nice. And she was like, oh my gosh, they never called it in. I will contact them on your behalf. She knew exactly who was calling it in. We didn't even have to tell her. Apparently they're big in this market for weight loss, uh, the Ozempic and semaglutide bunch. So they're well known at doing it and prescribing it. If you hear squeaking, that's just my daughter. Uh, she's got out of the shower and she's moving around upstairs. Her room is directly above this room. So anyway, don't pay attention to that, but here's the deal girl. So yeah, she, this was a week ago probably a week today that she was like, yeah, yeah, um, we'll call it in and, and, you know, we'll run it up the flagpole. And we even said like, if the insurance box on paying for it, we can do a saver card. She was like, yeah, yeah, we can do all that. And crickets. So I don't know if I'll be doing the Wagovi next week. I don't know if they'll give me another sample of Ozempic. Uh, I don't know if, they will contact the compounding pharmacy on my behalf. I just don't know. These are things I don't know. I know I don't want to stop because I'm getting results. So I want to keep going. Um, I'm, you know, feeling good. I don't feeling good, Billy Ray, looking good, Lewis. I don't feel any ill effects as much as I was. Um, I'm still losing weight, which is nice. Uh, yeah. So we don't know. I don't want to stop. I can't stop, won't stop. I definitely don't want to stop, so we're going to have to figure it out. Um, whether they're going to, you know, call it in. Who knows at this point? It's up in the air. I am, I think I've done enough work where the pharmacy and doctor needs to go ahead and pay me, right? I've done all the legwork, guys. I can't, I can't do any more than I have done. I, I've done everything humanly possible. It's in their hands. It always really has been. It's just, it's kind of frustrating to know that like, okay, you gave me a sample of this. I want to continue with it as I'm seeing good results. And yeah, um, what's the problem, right? I am paying you guys. So there's that aspect of it. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, some people have asked me why uh, semaglutide instead of, or semaglutide, however you say it, instead of terzepatide. Uh, so those are the Manjaro uh, medicine and what's the other one called? I can't think of it right now. But anyway, that, you know, medicine is the terzepatide. And then, um, yeah, Ozempic and Wagovi, if you hear my dog. I mean, you're going to hear all sorts of things because I'm in a common place of the house. Like, just like Cammie does, right? <laughs> but um, the reason that I went on this, so a year ago, a little over a year ago, my doctor, um, you know, diagnosed me with Nash disease, which is a disease of the liver. It is actually the second or third stage of fatty liver disease because I just, I have eaten horribly my whole life. And now I have to pay for it, right? And so um, they say losing weight is one of the best things you can do for any anything that ails you. I was also 
pre-diabetic, uh, my numbers were 5.6. And I think to get the medicine, you had to be 5.8 A1C. So yeah, I was right there, uh, pre-diabetic and um, beginning stages of diabetes. Those numbers have since come down. But um, yeah, girl, she wanted me to get on it last year on the medication. She prescribed Monjaro for me, but the insurance wouldn't pay and we couldn't figure out any way to do it. So I just sort of put it on the back burner, tried to white knuckle and lose weight myself. I did at that time I was 242. I hate saying that. And then I white knuckled my way down to like 229 and it took a long time. And then there was some ups, downs, pitfalls. I actually lost more than that, but then I, you know, over the holidays went crazy. <laughs> so my starting weight on um, this Ozempic journey though was 229. Okay. Just keep that in mind. Uh, so there we go. That's the, the reason. Well, that's not the reason. Then skip to, I went back every four months um, and got blood work done. And, you know, she was seeing improvement, but she's like, you know, these, the NASH numbers are looking bad. Like you gotta, we gotta do a lot of weight. You're gonna have to lose a lot of weight. And so I really need you to get on some kind of medication to help you do that because you're clearly not doing it on your own. I was like, wow, well, what a smack in the face, beesh. And so the last visit I had with her in March, I want to say March. Yeah. Uh, she was just like, you know, there's weight loss spas out there. Um, there's all kinds of places that can help you with maybe even compounding it. It's something we can't do it here, but I really you know, urge you to go. And we're friendly, my doctor and I, we know each other and I, I love her to death. And so I believe her when she says, girl, you got to get something done, do it quick. So I, um, I ended up going to a med spa that, or not a med spa. I keep saying med spa, but it is a sports. Um, I never can remember the name of it. It is a sports weight, weight loss clinic. Okay. Uh, sports medicine. I can never think of that. I've gone to this doctor before. I knew him from um, an event that I do every year. So I, I knew him and we're, you know, friendly, but he owns this um, sports medicine clinic. God, I'll get it out. And yeah, he was just like, uh, well, not him, but his uh, PA. He owns like several of them now and so travels around between a very large area. I believe he's in Knoxville. We're a couple hours from there. So yeah, I didn't actually see him, but I saw one of his PAs and she was the one that was like, yeah, you're, you, we're going to get you on this. And that's why, and that's what they prescribed. And that's also what they gave out in samples was Ozempic. But she said, if I do, um, get the prescription filled, if that ever happens one day, girl, Okay, um, then, you know, it will be Wagovi. Okay, so that's the reason. I didn't really have a preference. I would have gone either way. I didn't care um, which one or whatever. I didn't have a preference. Okay, so anyway, I will tell you that I um, struggled with some of the same things that I've been struggling with. I have been drinking the Smooth Move tea. I have been taking the um, magnesium. I have been taking the fiber in. I have been drinking and trying to hydrate. I, I know that it's not as good as it should be because obviously I had another problem this week without being able to go, but I took Colace. Girl, I am doing all the things. It's just, I'm. I guess I'm not hydrating enough. Anyhow, this um, place that I'm going to with the medicine, they have, um, you can do an IV. I think it's like $75 and they'll do a hydration IV every week if you need it, every month, whenever you want it. Um, I just haven't gotten up off my lazy butt and gone and done it, but I think I'm going to have to discuss it with them next week. Okay, so moving on to some things. So y'all know I've been switching around those protein bars because I started out with one that was so terrible. It was like eating cardboard. And then I found some at Sam's that were pretty good, but I have to tell you, and I said her name wrong on my last video. I said the wrong name. Her name is Crystal. And thank you to Crystal for sending me 
these minty chocolate and i think this one's just creamy crisp you can taste the coconut in it it's like an almond joy it's so good i haven't opened this one yet but y'all can see i'm down to the I, I'm, i've hit pan on this one girl <laughs> yeah she's just down to a few bars now bill has been eating them too he thinks they're delicious it's just like having a candy bar i think my quest for no pun intended my search for uh protein bars I use these as a meal replacement um, for lunch. But girl, I, I need to look no further. I love these and I'm like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm gonna keep getting these. Um, so yeah, she was very kind enough to send me two boxes. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it and they are delicious. You're right, they're the best, they're the best. So just saying thanks to her. Um, some people were also interested in knowing on this particular diet, I will tell you all my weight loss coming up, uh, but what I eat in a day. And I did start over the weekend, but I sort of eat differently on the weekend. For some reason, I do eat less on the weekend. I don't know why that is. Maybe work has me more stressed or something I wanna eat, but, and I get up earlier maybe, I just don't know, but I do find myself eating more through the week and it being close to my shot, today's my shot day. I get really hungry um, a couple days before that shot. I've noticed that. And I did move up to 0 0.50 on the Ozempic slash Wagovi. Uh, did it in my stomach. So this time I think I'm gonna do it back in my arm again because I had really good results that one week. I think it was week three that I did in the back of my arm. I really wanna try to start splitting up. I'm gonna talk to the doctor next week. Um, splitting up. 0.25 on like a Tuesday and then Friday or Saturday getting another 0.25 and I think that will calm down my hunger because yesterday I was ravenous. I I really did want to eat everything I saw. Did I? No, but I was hungry and I could feel it and uh, oddly enough that was the day I recorded what I ate, what I eat in a day but I'm going to show it to you now and then we'll talk about it. Okay guys. Here I am, um, you guys wanted to know what I eat for breakfast. It's a simple, simple concoction. Same thing every day. This is through the week, so I'm working. But I have my coffee with the uh, protein shake in there and a little bit of uh, Chobani creamer and Tarani. Oh, yeah, lots of stuff in my coffee today. Tarani, just a splash of caramel, cinnamon, something like that that I get at TJ Maxx. Um, but yeah, the breakfast is like this every single day. I do fruits, so I have blueberries and raspberries today. I do a third of cup, one third cup of Greek yogurt, and then I put some, um, I like the crunch, so I'll put some, uh, pecans, 10 or 11 pecans in there, and then I'll do just a drizzle of honey to give it some sweetness, and then I do a boiled egg and these apricots, dried apricots, because people keep saying that it helps the go. I can't tell. We're back in the no going hell. But anyway, I probably already told you that, but it's almost 10 o'clock right now. I usually don't eat this until 11 or 12, but today I had a break early and I thought, mm, I'll go down there and get myself something to eat I could eat. Um, I'll do a, some kind of like protein bar, yeah, for lunch, and that'll be around 1.30 or 2, and then at 4 o'clock, I'll try to eat a very small meal. This is about 500 calories. I try to stay in, I don't know, between 800 and 1,000 for the day, and that's just pushing what I can get in because um, I'm not really, really hungry. I'm most hungry in the morning, and that's why you see this big breakfast, but this will tide me over pretty much all day, so there we go. Okay, this is my third, well, it's actually, well, with the protein bar, I guess this is my third meal. So, you saw breakfast. Um, this is dinner. It's some um, uh, riced cauliflower medley with peas and little carrots and stuff. And this is some shredded chicken breast. Um, I really miss pork barbecue, but <laughs> anyway, and some roasted carrots. Uh, I just buy those you know, picked sweet, whatever, and they're flash frozen, and you put them in the uh, air fryer or the oven and roast them. Um, but yeah, that's it, and that's about, this is almost 300 calories right at it, 
So with my breakfast being right around five, maybe a little over with my coffee, uh, my protein bar at 130, which was 200 calories. And now this, which is about 300, I'm a little over a thousand calories for the day and I'm fine with that. So this will be my last meal. And so there we go. That is what I eat in a day. Okay, I hope this video is not 25 minutes, but I'm sorry, I apologize in advance if it is. But yeah, you see, that was a pretty big breakfast. There, there we go, I'll get it out. For me, uh, yesterday, I didn't quite eat as much today, but I was just, I was ready for it. And I actually started eating earlier. I did that today again, because I was so hungry, but I wasn't, I don't know, for some reason yesterday, I was really feeling it. And, um, uh, so yeah, I have a third cup of the Greek yogurt, as you saw. Um, I will do some, I like crunch in my yogurt. I just like crunchy, even when I have oatmeal or something, which I haven't had in a long time, I should try. But um, yeah, I don't tolerate bread very well, so you won't see me eating any bread. I'm not craving bread. Usually I'm a bread head, but I don't want it. But yeah, I like crunch, so I put the pecans in there. I do a little bit of honey drizzle because y'all know Greek yogurt. <laughs> She needs some help. <laughs> and the fruit, usually berries. Um, and then those, there again, I'm just trying to get get the old plumbing moving. That was the apricots or dried apricots or apricots, however you say them. Uh, somebody recommended that I do that because those are supposed to move you too. And maybe it did. Today was a good day. I'll just say it like that. Today was a great day. <sighs> so yeah. Uh, challenging a little bit through the week, but yeah, the food noise gone. Um, oh, to my weight loss. So starting the journey to 29, we weigh today to 13 girls. So that's two more pounds. That makes 16 pounds altogether. Uh, I'll take it all day, every day. I five weeks in 16 pounds down. I've never done anything else other than starvation and I don't feel deprived. I don't feel starved. I'm not always craving, craving, craving. If I was, I would try to eat a bite of it just to get me through it, but I'm not. I'm not. I, I don't want donuts and cakes. Well, okay. I always want cakes, but I'm just not like thinking of that all the time. Like, wow, wow, wow. Let me get a cake. Let me get a cake. I need it. I need some kind of cake. I need a cookie. I need, mm -mm. it's calmed way down. So that's why I don't want to quit the medicine at this point. I want to keep going for my health and basically for vanity reasons, girl, because she wants to get skinny. She wants to be a skinny bitch. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It really is for health reasons. But, you know, if I look better and feel better, what's wrong with that, right? <laughs> Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I love doing the little um, weight loss Wednesdays. Although they're not little, I've been really telling you a lot of stuff, right? If there's anything you want to ask me, I can cover it in the next video. Um, so yeah, that what I eat in a day. Yeah, the I've been eating a lot of chicken. Why don't I eat another kind of meat? Because I don't tolerate it well. Uh, I can eat turkey, ground turkey. I do that sometimes instead of the chicken. But any kind of like red meat, and I haven't eaten red meat for my liver. It's bad for me. So I haven't eaten red meat in a long, long time, probably a year or more. So no, I don't miss it. I was doing the Beyond Burgers, and I just don't have a taste for the red meat anymore. I don't sit around and want a steak or a hamburger. I know it's hard to believe, but if I did, I would use ground chicken. And we did that. Remember, I told you I did that one day. Um, the bread kind of made me a little sick, but um, I just do it with like a lettuce wrap or something. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I just don't want it. Uh, when I, it, when and if I do, I'll take a bite of it. You know, it's not, it's not out of the question for me. I can't like, I'm not telling myself that no food groups are allowed. Like you got to stop. No, I'm not on that kind of thing. I'm just, you know, eating what I feel like makes me feel the best and doesn't make me sick. And that's through trial and error so far. And I'm sure there will, there will be days that I'm just like, okay, we can't eat that ever again. And without the cravings and all the noise in my head saying, I want it, I want it, I want it. Um, it's not going to be that hard for me, I think. I've 
I feel like with the medication, I can do anything, girl. <laughs> So anyway, yes, I'll take that loss. I'm excited. Um, I'm eager for another two pounds or more. Not less, let's hope. But I mean, you know, we don't know what the future brings, right? But anyway, thanks again. And do me a favor, hit that subscribe button to follow along in my journey with me. Uh, usually that's an Hermes journey, but we've switched it over to weight loss. Although, y'all know I'm still into these handbags. Uh, do me a favor, hit subscribe, like, comment down below. I'll get back to those comments at some point. I read all of your comments, so please don't uh, stop giving me tips. If you want to email me, winnieblv at gmail. It's real simple. I'm on Instagram under the same name, so come over and find me there. Slip into those DMs, girl. Slide into them. Is that what the kids say? Hell, I don't know. All right. Thank you again. Do me one more favor. If y'all see my husband, girl, woohoo! don't tell him nothing. Bye. Every time I film down here, my little dog, she thinks it's, oh, it's go time. Mom's just finished. Oh my gosh. I think I'll go fix myself a cauliflower crust pizza. I can tolerate those pretty well. I don't know why, but it's just a cheese pizza. Girl, you're not getting any. Is that what you want too? No, girl, you got to eat your dog food. She's over here thinking she's going to eat a pizza with me. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a bite. Yeah, I tolerate the... Um, Cauliflower, she's up on me now. Crust so well. That's a bonus. I don't have to have pizza, but the other night, um, Bill brought one home and I actually just ate like one piece. And I was like, I'm over it, I'm good. Nothing else. All right, girl, I'm getting out. Oh Lord, she's gonna have a cow. All right, um, do me a favor, I'm gonna put a video right here. Go ahead and keep on watching. To my doctors, get on it. Don't make me stop this. I'm having fun, biatch.